They used to call Windhelm the City of Kings, in my books anyway. Not all that regal in my Your opinion, lips are though. Cool, should well, I? other than the giant it? placards of the past Jarls here. Though, that's basically the only regal thing going on for Windhelm. Not very kingly to be racist towards a certain minority group. I know the Dunmer don't do have like a particularly race-inclusive track record either, especially to the Argonians back then. But someone should still break the wheel, you know? The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, and they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very business-like. Exactly. It's a lost art. Most necromancers just raise up whatever bodies are nearby. A simple trick, really. Child's play. But bringing something from the Soul Cairn gives you something much more powerful. Well, that's usually the trick. It's possible to do it through a simple portal. But... To finalize the deal, you have to travel there yourself, and most of them never come back. <laughs> Me too. Well, you being a part of a secret death cult is kind of exciting. It's also somewhat ironic, if you think about it. Imagine this on a book cover. The tales of Serana and her charming companion who was also a stealthy assassin. Something I definitely want to read. So, this must be your Vasker, the legendary Mead Hall of the Companions. Though, I kind of... It's a bit smaller than I expected. I mean, I heard great tales about it. I kind of expected a battleship, not a schooner. Though, I guess carrying a ship even of this size is no easy task. Anyway, <sighs> legends these days, they tend to blow things out of proportion, don't they? Well, most of the people in your little crew aren't my type, just as I'm probably not theirs. I've heard that a few of their inner circle are werewolves. And my father's views did not exactly win us any friends among Hercene's brood. It just feels so slow. Thanks. Glad to know you have my back. That way for a while, but... Ah, the College of Winterhold. I've read about this place, but never really been here myself. It's a bit... underwhelming, to say the least. Everything just seems so... crumbly. Well, that's more for the main city, if you'd even call it that. But the college doesn't seem to be in the best shape either. It also doesn't help that most of the locals here despise the college, at least from what I've heard. I can't say I particularly like wars. Yet another war of succession. At least things didn't get boring while I was gone. When I was locked away, Cyrodiil wasn't even the seat of an empire. And Skyrim... Sometimes, it's hard to even fathom how much this world has changed. And what was it? The Oblivion Crisis? I would have never expected the Daedra to invade Tamriel again. I certainly hope Molag Bal doesn't host another plane meld. That would be... dreadful. Thanks. But honestly, I don't think any Daedra would consider invading ever again. They got their hides tanned. Turns out a bunch of Nawaz shouldn't be underestimated. It's a term the Dunmer used to describe mortals. It has a negative connotation. But, well, that's kind of the point of what I was saying. And, yes, I've heard stories about the Last Septum turning into a dragon to fight Mehrun's Dagon. But Martin's septum couldn't... 
he couldn't have done it alone. I got reacquainted with the current world as soon as I got back to the castle. Well, at least I know the basics. Not that much, but still. It's a village in the middle of a swamp. What else would I think? Not really my thing. I personally won't ever want to come here unless I really have a reason to. If I could offer some advice, let's not hang around here for too long. Definitely not what I was looking forward to when exploring Skyrim. Other than the fact that it's in the Reach, I kind of like it. Just ignore the fact that a crazy cannibal cult roams the area. In Markarth, though, the Dwemer architecture is just kind of great to look at every now and then. You can tell that this city definitely has its own flavor compared to the other ones in Skyrim. Definitely a bit exotic. My kind of thing. Thinking about it, it seems... regular. Other than the highest mountain in all of Tamriel looming over it, I'm surprised it doesn't get any visitors. Even the mountain, actually. Who wouldn't want to scale the throat of the world? Maybe it's just me, being the adventuring type and all. It seems most people would be at ease just sitting around reading books all day. Well, I did that, but people should just go out and explore, you know? Doesn't seem very impressive to me. Looks like a fishing town more than anything else, not a city hold. A nice one, but still a town. And yes, I do know there's a mine here, but it's pretty much obvious to me that the town relies on the sea much more than the mines. I've been thinking about an ideal home for us. You know, somewhere to settle when we're done adventuring. I know this might sound odd, but I wouldn't mind living in a cave. Or a grove, really. Something like the Ancestor Glade. Do you think we could have a nice homestead in a place like that someday? <laughs> 